We're trying to cut down the incidence of heart disease, which has just been increasing across the country, so that we figure by trying to get a man involved in a cardiovascular type of exercise program, an aerobics kind of a program, this would be one aid of eliminating many of his risk factors. And along with our consultation with our patients in the clinic, we have a chance to go over many of the risk factors. And literally, aerobics means with air or with oxygen. We're concerned more about the efficiency of the heart, lungs, and cardiovascular system. And aerobics is a word which is found in the dictionary, uh, which literally means efficiency of your cardiovascular system. Well, Dr. Cooper is the author of the book Aerobics and New Aerobics, and uh, he devised the program uh, when he was in the Air Force. But now we've adapted the program to our Dallas area uh, business executives. And uh, we're here at the Aerobics Activity Center and having a chance to watch our successful exec executives, so to speak, a modern exercise before they go to work. We start off by warming up with a 20-minute uh, calisthenic program, which is then followed by their personal aerobics program. And so we're trying to get their heart rates up to a level which will produce a cardiovascular effect of uh, utilizing their oxygen. And uh, so the men will go out and have a chance to walk, jog, swim, or cycle. So we are concerned about the decrease in fitness, and we're trying to um, uh, implement the aerobics program into many schools and universities across the country. Dr. Cooper feels that uh, everyone who is going to engage in a physical fitness program beyond the age of 30 years of age should have a complete physical examination and also a maximal treadmill stress test. This way we can find out what his level of fitness is and then prescribe his exercise program. We can also make sure there's no signs of hidden heart disease, which would prohibit him from taking part in a cardiovascular exercise program. And we now are working with 25 men and women who have suffered heart attacks who are involved in a progressive exercise program. And uh, we've gone from just two minutes of calisthenics the first day back in January, and they walked six laps around their indoor track to where they're going through 20 minutes of calisthenics and are now jogging up to the mile or mile and a half. So these people have been increasing their, uh, their levels of fitness tremendously. The ultimate goal for all of our members at the activity centers is to try, try and have each person raise up to his highest level of fitness. But again, we're not encouraging people to go out and start jogging. We want them to have a complete physical workup and evaluation and then start off on a more or less a starter program and get into their conditioning program.